Computer Sheets of Warm, and we're here at uh, in Vegas with our good friend Takuda Master. Did want to introduce Horace here. He's uh, with the case team here yeah, at uh, Kuma Master, and he's going to walk us through some of the new goodies here. This is an upcoming item. This is the MF uh, Master Frame 400. Looks pretty big because this almost like seems like a. a your typical ATX case, but it in fact is an MATX case. Dimensionally, it's actually pretty big, right? It's 66 yes. liters. The, the, that was deep, the number I got. The deep is a thing of 600. The only okay. difference is the height is lower than six centimeter. Right. But it's okay. uh, only because this is a slot case, this is a five slot case. So the idea here is that um, the users can kind of customize it as they. It, it, towards the future, right? That yeah, the idea the is that users can customize the case uh, height. So they're all based on the same, uh, same, fr the same frame tooling. design, same, same frame tooling. Design, yeah. The spacing here for the holes, it's all based on the PCIe slots, uh, expansion slot sizes. Yes. So if you were more intrepid and you wanted to cut it down, you could still uh, stay within spec yes. for that big one that they're they're going with this round is the 600. This is a Master, Master Friend 600, uh, which is a main model of a Master Friend series. As you can see, this is an ATS case uh, with uh, aluminum uh, material inside. The frame itself and the uh, panel itself is all made by aluminum. Four module design and uh, hard disk uh, bracket and the power supply shroud can be removable by screw. Yeah, so you can, depending on your need, to, to even you can remove the, the hard disk bracket. And if you remove the cover, and you can ins even install the side uh, radiator for this. So another, is it, yeah, yeah. There, if right? you want to another 360 or even 420. So one neat thing you'll see is like all these little indexing points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the, the the frame structure here. Yeah, the frame structure because it, as you can see there are so many holes at the aluminum extrusion parts, and it's uh, been uh, we make this hole by tooling not CNC for each hole, so it's all at, done at the same time for for this. The left side is a conventional aluminum panel and the right side is a mesh panel for this. And currently our first launch, the base model will be the aluminum uh, texture yeah, for this. It will be available in Q1. Cooling X Pro, this is kind of like the evolution of the uh, Cooling X, which uh, we reviewed previously, but this is going to be your bigger style case. This is going to have a CPU and GPU looped together, custom loop with uh, this radiator here. The, I guess the world's first 360 by 360 rad. It's like one big rad. You can think of it as one, two, three, three 360 mil rads all stacked on top of each other. The fan allocation could be four by 180 millimeter or it could be, I guess you could put nine 120 millimeter fans on this as well. And over here is the NR200P Max V3. Now, some of you may not have heard of a V2, so you might be curious, oh, is there a V3 already? The V2 is essentially gonna be the V1 just with the uh, USB-C top, uh, the new top IO that we saw in the NR200P V2. All right, the non-max. Uh, so the V3 will be a different design. This is essentially the concept cases that we saw at Computex last year, the, the BTF cases that we saw. So we put a Gen 5 riser cable and we add the removable mesh. If you, for, if you, if you have a kit or a pet inside your home and you can add the mesh. And this is removable also. So if you want to show your graphics card as much as possible, you can remove it directly. But basically the mechanism is the same, yeah. The fixture is So the one of the things about this type of design, the exhausting radiator, that's really going to focus the intake airflow yes. on your GPU. Yes. Right, yeah. and that's why you have this cutout exactly yeah. 
uh, made the for the Strix yes. uh, card. But are, what if someone wants to run a different card that like not everyone's gonna want to run the Strix? Yeah, so that's why we added a mesh All right. to minimize the impact yeah. if you don't use the 1490 Strix. Yeah, that's the one with the purpose, yeah. In theory, you should see pretty good uh, GPU thermals. We'll wait and see, hopefully you can get uh, test this thing out. Otherwise, it looks to be just your Air 200P Max. This is the new Encore 100 Air. Many of you are familiar with the Encore 100 Max. That was cooled with a 120 millimeter at the top. So if you didn't want to liquid cool, you kind of didn't have an option there to build it up yourself. Yes. And this one is not exactly the same dimensions as the Encore 100 Max. Um, it is actually a little bit shortened at the top. Yes. Because it doesn't have to account for the space for required right for that very thick yeah, 120, yeah. not just yes. any 120, right? Yes. And the cooling spec here is going to be a 70 millimeter uh, air cooler yeah, in no the uh, smaller GPU setting. And in the bigger GPU setting, yeah. you lose 20 millimeters. Liter size is 14.8. Uh, can also expand an additional slot size to 16.4 liters. So you can go uh, to a wider physical dimension here. Or if you have a smaller GPU, you can just reallocate that space between the motherboard and the GPU. Even if you expanded the case and shifted the motherboard tray over, you can still only get 70 millimeters, which will still cover a large number of high quality, low profile coolers. So. Something neat is that if you look at this uh, side panel here, it has a cutout and there's a, a little bit of a sheet there, acrylic sh plastic sheet that will help direct the airflow towards just the power supply and the CPU cooler. You can even shift from from a different position. So you can block the hot air exhaust from, the, from this side. So man, make sure the, all the air was intact from this area. So the hot air will be exhausted by the, the rear fan and top fan. It will in, increase the efficiency. Uh, that's gonna allow the case fans to really help focus uh, their attention to helping the CPU cooling. All right, thanks for checking out the Cooler Master goodies with me here. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more CES content. Let's give a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.